The amount of effort and dedication that has been put into creating this project into life goes beyond anything we've ever seen. Villa White embraces elegance and sophistication in its highest forms. For me this place is not just a home, but also an unforgettable experience. Over the last few days we got a glimpse and a piece of the discreet lifestyle that Soto Grande has to offer with its incredible white sand blue waters, luxurious architecture. We got to visit the La Reserva of the Soto Grande and now I understand why this place is best spoke to be one of the most prestigious residential developments here in Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Soto Grande, where today we'll be exploring this grand mega mansion featuring 8,000 square meters of plot, tennis court, indoor and outdoor swimming pool, wellness area, spa and much more. It is my privilege to present you Villa White. For our main architect, Manuel Ruiz, it's so important to focus in emotion, people, the place and the light and the integration of all these elements creates another experience. Um, Villa White is a perfect example for that. For this reason, we create something totally different. Good evening everybody, what an entrance to this incredible property. Welcome to Villa White one more time. Once again, thanks to Super Garage from Puerto Banos for lending us this Lamborghini Urus Design to come into this incredible property. Big house and a big car. I'm super excited for today's tour. But before we get inside, let's quickly speak about this outdoor port. Two car parking garage on my right hand side. Also, we have a hidden door leading us to the inside of the service apartment. On the opposite side of the entrance, free car parking spaced covered area, which is basically under the driveway, which led us into here on the first place. And now what a grand entrance that sets the tone for the whole of the house. Traventine cladded on the wall, six and a half meters high door, counter livering spaces, picture windows, this gorgeous staircase, which you can see just over here and now of course the grand entrance shall we enter let's check if this door is magic as i thought it is first of all this door six and a half meters we've got the height of the ceilings here the door itself is five meters pivoting i don't think we've seen a grand entrance like this did we this is just as impactful as it looks. The first thing you have when you step through is this landing with the picture window going out to this incredible views with the jacuzzi merging with the swimming pool. Some art and decorations on this side, a little sitting area. Everything just looks very elegant and minimalistic in this house and this is the job of Arc. Love these minimalistic lines, LED light strips. Some, na some nature as well, some nature to give some color into the space. Now coming through to your living area, let's notice these wooden slabs here separating that, the volume of this house. This floor itself is nearly 800 square meters, 764 if I'm not mistaken, of your main living area. Now, can't go unnoticed. The focal point of this house, 
this, actually they call it a sculpture, it's a sculpture, the staircase was designed not only to look as an artistic statement of the house and its heart and soul, but also to give the dimensions and diversity into the space, right? I hope that makes sense for you guys. And now, off to the space we've got your formal living area, double height ceilings, large L-shaped beige sofa with this carpet, all these details and decorations and divided from the dining area with this book matched suspended fireplace. Check out the volume of that guys. That must be five and a half meters just hanging down from the ceiling, bioethanol, put up your fire in the winter or even now when it's getting a little bit chilly and just be nice and cozy in the space. And now one step to the left and we are in the grand dining area, a kind of a square table. Not very often we see square tables with seating for 12 plus chandelier lamp hanging above. A great design. Love the decorations and the black wood on the table, contrasting nicely with the micro cement walls that we've got in many parts of the house. Now let's step back to the kind of landing area where we've got the staircase and explore a little bit the hidden doors. Shall we check out the first hidden door? Yes. Okay, so Oliviari handles. Tima, if you can zoom in to show the texture of these handles, lovely. It's a pleasure to open this hidden door and show you guys what we've got behind. Voila, your first powder bathroom. Lovely design of the vanity setup. Here we've got some shelvings with the dark wood, marble. Now let's step back outside and check out the second hidden door. What can it be? Diva doesn't know. All right. Now, this is your storage room. Just giving you a little glimpse of that. The third hidden door will be your, will be your lift, which can take you up to all the three levels of the house. But we're not gonna use that for now. We're gonna step forward through these pocketing doors. Now feast your eyes on this kitchen. American style, large island in the middle. And I mean large, it must be like three and a half, four meters long. We've got marble which was imported from Portugal and custom designed and made especially for this house. The main architect from art went to Portugal to the actual manufacturer, chose this material and now we have this kitchen. Let's quickly speak firstly about this sink. Do you mind if you can come close? I want to show everybody this design which is actually the LED light. As you can see now it's purple and now it's green and now it's purple again so basically in the night when you come into your kitchen and you don't see what kind of water you're putting this switch on you just go by colors you go by colors turn on the red one if you want some hot water and the green if you want some cold water cool right all right let's speak about all these built-ins Wow. All right, that's a nice design. Pocketing inside, interesting. So it doesn't take up any of your space, but at the same time, very stylish. Wolf appliances, oven, grill, microwave. I'm not sure what's that. Do you know? No. If you guys know what's this, let us know. Check out this design. Now this is, Interesting, a soft open. Looks comforting, right? Like a SMR. And now, Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero fridge freezer. What a comfort and pleasure is opening a fridge like this. And now, and now freezer. Ice storage, ice maker. Plenty of space for all your frozen little food. Now, stepping through over to this zone, into this stylish little fittings and space. Smells, smells good, smells of wood. The same backsplash as in the kitchen, 
the marble from Portugal, oak wood used in the space, the indirect lighting looks incredible, very stylish. Put up all your little nice details and decorations and you've got the space nice and homey. Stepping through your dining area, your second dining area, where you'd probably be having your breakfast or maybe a fast dinner if you don't want to have it nice and official in the other living dining area. Oak wood, and it's kind of connected in a way to your kitchen. It goes, hides itself here in this space and just pops up with these lovely cute little chairs. Of course, the gorgeous chandelier which hits your eye as soon as you enter, like little rainbows, actually. Now, stepping through to here, my question when I came into the space was, hold on, we've got two living rooms in this, in this house, right? Because the one we've just seen was a pretty grand living room, you'd think that'd be enough for, for a house like this, right? But no, that was the idea from the architect to make another little space which is connected into your kitchen so whilst you're cooking and preparing food you can also watch some tv or just watch your food getting ready right behind you've got this large picture window opening up into your zen style kind of japanese internal yard which is here to look beautiful which it does right now from this space we are gonna head into your dirty kitchen let's go and here we are, the second kitchen, which is supposed to be your dirty kitchen, but in fact, it's bigger size than the one I have in my house. So personally, I wouldn't call it a dirty kitchen. It looks beautiful to me. Love this combination of the oak wood with this gray, darkish design of the glass. Siemens appliances, microwave, fridge and freezer, love this oak wood smells really good and now from this kitchen we would step into your guest or staff's apartment it's not just a room it's an actual apartment because we are connected first of all with the dirty kitchen with the laundry room with the end suite bathroom and also the private exit on or an entrance to this house now let's step through this laundry room and step out into your driveway, which we saw when we entered into the house, the hidden door actually brings you out here. So the service apartment has its own separated entrance. Now let's step back inside. I wanna show you guys the landing of this floor. I'm gonna close off the little laundry room since it's where we've got all our things. But hey, would you notice this door? If I didn't just show it to you, you don't actually see where the entrance is, you just, Go blindly, pushing, hoping you will find the door, as I just did. Yes. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, just this floor itself is 700 square meters and it's pretty far to go from one end to another. So let's move before the sun will set and it will be completely dark because we still got a lot to check out outside. The internal meters of this house is 2400 we've got a lot to discover today let's quickly step into the first empty room you can make it into anything you want maybe a bedroom or an office now on the other side of that the doors are already open and welcoming us into this changing area i would say here would be a place to change your shoes, get ready. Just a generous storage slash wardrobe, which is also leading us with this picture window into the outside. Now, also I wanna show you guys this switch, which is not your typical press. It's actually just a little tap. Love it. They say happiness is found in the smallest things of life and that little things make me happy. <laughs> Now, as we're walking to the bedroom, let's appreciate these art pieces, which are made by Spanish artists, and ARC always carefully chooses the artists and the paintings that they implement in their spaces. I love these ones. Also, a picture window on my left, 
We've got many windows which we were seeing from the outside that illuminates this house and make it so bright, vast and expansive. I love this space. Now the first main bedroom of this floor and the second one in general. Now many sections, let's start from the bathroom. Double sink vanity marble. The same marble is actually used on the backsplash just with a different treatment. So this one, if you touch it, it's more soft and this one just feels a little bit more rough. Now let's step into the shower and let's notice these rustic handles. Dima, zoom in. Nice and rustic, just as kind of a vibe of this bathroom. Stepping inside, micro cement in the ceiling here, marble backdrop, indirect lighting, even towels from Villa White, which are already here waiting for you to have a shower and dry yourself off. We also have bathrobes, which you can dress after your shower. Now, stepping through here. This would be your walk-in wardrobe. How do you like the size of that? And also that is connecting us here with the terrace, which we are going to be exploring very shortly. But before, let's check out the main space of this bedroom. Gotta love this style. They've added this wooden paneling that runs throughout the whole of this room, connecting with the back of the bed with this LED light implemented just under and all that giving this cozy feeling to the space. And that was basically the idea to create a home and not just a house. And now guys, now we're gonna step into the terrace and check out the dining area. Vamos. All right, and here we are, your main floor with the outside entertainment zone. Let's start with this part over here where you've got these two sofas and this fully functional outdoor chilling zone. Gotta check it out. From this space you are enjoying the incredible views of Soto Grande, your swimming pool, your tennis court, your left section of this chilling zone. You can also see your outside kitchen, the barbecue zone and much more. But before we see that, Let's step into this zone, which is your jacuzzi, which kind of merges with the swimming pool. As soon as you enter into the house, the jacuzzi just blends with the swimming pool, making you feel like it's on one level. Love these steps, just to look pretty and connect you with this other side. Now, an interesting information, the marble we have in the outdoor and the inside of the house is actually the same it's called marble knacker and the inside of the house as you can see Tima, if you just come closely doesn't have any elevation to it and now if we go down we'll be able to see that this marble has these slight kind of elevations and it's basically so that when the water comes into this terrace it accumulates into your storage room and is being used for the irrigation of the garden. So it's very sustainable. As you can see, I have entered into your outdoor dining area, pretty impactful kettle, outdoor furniture, oak wood made by Arc, and these two grand chandeliers or lamps hanging above the ceiling. Seating for 12, so you'll be able to host just as many people inside as outside. Now another zone, another chilling zone, this time space for four, with these wooden slats at the top, which are here to basically play with the light. When the sun is rising, which is just in front of me, into, in the trees, the sun coming through these spaces looks incredible and gives it shade into this zen space, into the zen garden. Now, here we are in your outdoor bar entertainment area where you would be cooking up your meats in this torture barbecue. Decent piece of a barbecue, right? I'm sure there is a way to close this space 
off but we're just gonna leave it open for you to guys enjoy the view of that marble tops even in your outdoor kitchen have plenty of space Dima let's step over through here so we can show everybody what we've got here spaces more spaces and voila fridge and freezer your outdoor fridge and freezer to be enjoyed on your seven days a great space to throw parties host your guests four chairs four bar seating chairs over here again we've got these wooden slats bringing in funky light rays sun rays through the ceiling and from here you would step into your grass zone it's very nice and soft real grass in fact here and that is connecting you again with your outdoor dining area whilst we're walking back let's just notice that actually even the dining area has recess lights in the ceiling part of the space and that looks incredible now that it's getting a little bit dark now before we continue with the store i want to mention some specs about this house so the whole plot is 8,000 square meters with the internal build of 2,440 square meters. This house features eight bedrooms and eight bathrooms and it's currently on the market for 16 and a half million euros and was designed and built by Arc Architects. And now let's continue with the tour into your swimming pool area walking down these stylish staircase if you're noticing they are actually at an angle so it goes like this from the right wing of the house and to the left angle from the left side of the house and here voila is your main swimming pool area infinity edge pool looking out to the incredible views of Sotto Grande and all the peace and quiet that is included with this house 25 meters swimming pool how large is that for a swimming to for a swimming pool to have in your own garden not only would you have that but also you have your fire pit i'm gonna step down just to show you guys the volume of the space love the led lights under this natural stone now we're gonna keep on exploring the outside areas, but I can't help myself to notice to speak once again about the exterior of this house. <sighs> Looks incredible. So far we've seen the first floor of the house with the upper outdoor area, the chilling zone, the bar, the outdoor dining area, the jacuzzi, and now we are in the second elevation part, which is your swimming pool. Now, why am I saying the second elevation part? Basically, this house was built on a slope and we have four straight elevation lines here. And the first one is your grand entrance. The second one is your swimming pool. The third one is your wellness swimming pool, indoor swimming pool area, which is right here. We're going to explore that very soon. Level minus four, which is your tennis court and your separated stuff well, not really staff, your separated apartment with two bedrooms. Now, whilst we're walking to there, let's one more time appreciate the beauty of this house with the sun setting and the LED lights throughout the whole wellness area. But no spoilers, we're gonna check that very soon whilst we're walking to your separated apartment in this beautiful grass. Also, let's notice that it's not a straight line, that we've got these steel panels separating the glass the grass from your vegetation and from your trees in this curved manner so it makes this garden look funky and architectural now what a grand entrance into your separated two bedrooms apartment love the wooden slats again here bringing in all these funky rays of sun when we've actually got it here in the morning and from here you'd be opening up these doors belgian actually let me remember rainars rainars belgian brand decent doors anti everything can't break can't get any wind in now here is your 
kitchen, little area, a little bit empty. You can fill this up with some furniture of choice. Another bedroom. And Dima, let's just quickly step into this bathroom because actually it's more beautiful than I thought. What a vanity. Marble vanity setup with the marble shelves. Actually, we've got oak wood inside, but the, on the outside, the marble. Looks incredible. I love this bathroom. Again, separated into two sections. Shower, toilet, bath with a window going out into the side of the house. On to the other side, where would be just a mirrored bedroom of the other one. And now, I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't mind having a guest apartment like this. And now, let's jump straight to the tennis court. Your private tennis court. We haven't seen a tennis court in our channel so far, so I'm super excited to show you this grand space to keep up your wellness and your health right outside of your house. So now that's your tennis court and now we're gonna jump back inside the house and check out the upper floor. Vamos! And back at the landing, the focal heart of this house, which is this gorgeous staircase. Let's go up and check out the second floor. Voila, here is your landing of the highest floor of this house. Again, we've got some hidden doors. Let's start from the first one. Please come in. This would be your storage slash change your clothes area. Again, leading you to the outside, to the driveway of the house. Love how these doors just seamlessly disappear in this wooden paneling of the wall. The second, oh, this one opens inwards. Well, that's very bright. That would be your service room. That would be your service room. And the third door, you already know what it is. Voila! That is your lift, which today we are avoiding to make some sport. Now, before we enter, pocketing doors is what brings you inside of your main bedroom. Step inside. And now I'm super excited for this space. This would be your main bedroom of the house with these beige tones also connected. You've got this large private terrace overlooking the swimming pool, the nature and your barbecue bar area. Gorgeous bed right in the middle. I love this cushioned backdrop separated by these sections which actually look like pillows. Very cozy with these dark edges blending with these lamps, fixtures and even these bedside tables have an original shape and have a cushion backdrop. Nice, love it. Gotta love these as well. Easily clicked, touched switches. Also, just off the bed, we have a little sofa area. All right, so bedroom has everything. It has a makeup zone, has this reading area, has the sofa, has the artistic paintings, built-in speakers. Ooh. We're not gonna step on the carpet with our shoes, but we're gonna walk around to reach this makeup area. I mean, this is an incredible space for a woman. Wallpapered backdrop, gorgeous, large circle mirror. It definitely makes you wanna do your makeup over here. Now let's step into your walk-in wardrobe. Check out the space. We've got the skylight above bringing in light into the space so you can see yourself properly whilst you're getting ready to go out. For now, no light coming through the sky because it's dark outside. But in the day, here the space is full of light and look at all these spaces. Look at all these buildings with the tinted glass. So it actually makes you always keep all your things in order. Nice details for short people like myself who cannot reach the very top. It's an easy structure. Pull it out, 
hang them here. You can be even less than one. You can be even less than 150 meters if you want to reach the space. No problem at all. And now this would be your S-suite bathroom. Yes, I know the size of this is. Love this vanity sink setup with this marble, same as the backdrop, just a different texture. We've got this hot bath fixtures. Love how it runs, length of the whole of the space. Reese's lights on the top, some gorgeous decorations. That's this woman. The other day when we were shooting a house in La Quinta, in the nest, we saw a man, a naked man, and this time we see a naked woman. Gorgeous art. Now let's talk about this bath zone. So all the space with the natural stone, actually this is a micro cement. This is the micro cement, the same as we saw in the living area, implemented in this micro cement. We've got this bathtub, a generous size. And of course, we've got the views to the outside with this enormous, picture window which actually tilts for some fresh air now off to my left we have this double shower one two so you can both shower at the same time you can both have your own showers so no problem about who's showering first at all now this shower dima let's step inside and show everybody this uh, built-in shelves over here, which you wouldn't see from the other side. So a nice space to put all your shampoos and shower gels. Now, another thing about the shower is the one-piece stones. In order to bring these stones, they required a lot of men and these big cranes, which were bringing in these four pieces of stone so that this bathroom looks as it does. So that's your S-suite bathroom to the main bedroom and now let's get transferred to the landing of this floor. Whilst we're walking to the second wing of this level, I wanted to mention to you guys these double height ceilings again and your living area. So when you wake up in the morning, go out from your main bedroom and just check out the downstairs who is already up and what they are up to. That might be one case scenario. And now we are at the other wing of the house, your right wing of the house. Again, we've got the same wooden slats, which we saw entering the house, Reese's lights, lighting all of this space. And basically it's here to divide all this space as well as to play with the light, which we have a lot of due to all the windows. Following through here, now more art pieces made by Spanish artists. This time we've got the texture to it. From here we have two bedrooms. Actually we have three bedrooms in this wing. But first let's check out this one, just behind these two fellas. All right. Generous size, love this wooden backdrop with these LED lights implemented into this inclined spaces, panels, which are just giving this depth into this bedroom. More dark wood, wardrobes opening up, turning on some LED lights, just as we saw in the other bedrooms. And right opposite of your bed, desk and the balcony, which wraps up around all of this floor, connecting the bedrooms with each other. Now let's step into the Ensuite bathroom. Villa white towels, again, micro cement, hanging shower head above me, separated toilet, lovely sink design, vanity, recess lights, indirect lighting in the ceiling, picture window leading into the terrace, pocketing doors. And now we shall go and see the bedroom right opposite. And that would be it, it basically mirrors the other bedroom in a way, except that we've got some different details, like for example, the decorations here. The only thing that actually separates these two rooms is the light fixtures, the ottoman, the carpet, and the rest stays the same, just mirrored. 
So that's two mirroring bedrooms on this wing of the house and we've got one more to see. And that would be it. And sweet bathroom mirroring the bathroom we had in the downstairs. A little bit of a darker design here. The backsplash of the bed is this dark cushioned fabric, the same as this dark wood bedside tables. Soft feel to it. More wardrobe space, same as always. But what I love about this bedroom is this feature wall with this wallpaper and this square mirror with the LED light behind it and this setup. I love the setup. Do you guys like it? Also the chair. Check out the chair, Dima. Stylish. Very stylish chair. There's a lot of stylish details in this house and even the texture of them is incredible. This bedroom also connects you to the outside terrace which runs throughout the whole length of this floor. And now guys, that would be the end of this level. Now we're gonna transport ourselves to the level minus one where we've got the spa, swimming pool, wellness zone, gymnasium, indoor pool, and let's see what else, vamos. And voila, what an ambience we've got on this floor. First thing, as soon as you walk down, you have this textured wall. It's actually Kalisa stone and looks like little flowers, which is lit with the indirect lighting. And that's why so much magical feeling to this level. First door we're going to explore is automatically turned on mine and we've got an empty room. Echo, echo, echo. This room should be, will be, would be, could be your cinema room for now. It's an empty room. Of course, you can make it into just anything else. And now stepping through, here begins your level, wellness level. Four hidden doors. Let's start from the first hidden door, which is your Bathroom, lovely details from the sea. Just to remind you guys, we are just a few minutes away from the beach, from the sandy white beaches of Soto Grande, from the marina, where you can enjoy the gorgeous, the beautiful Spanish lifestyle. Now, the second hidden door has a service room for us. The third door, do we know? We know. We know it's a lift. We know it's a lift. How could it not be? But then we have another fourth door. And that would be, oh, that would be your punishment room. <laughs> this is where you sit if you behave bad and you get closed off. No, and now seriously, this is just your empty room for storage or anything else. A little corner just in front of this door another chilling area connecting to this kind of living room, maybe a waiting area whilst you're waiting for your round to play the pool. We tried that today. It went really well, actually. I hit two balls at the same time, didn't I, Dima? So I'm really happy with the result. And on the other side of this pool, we have this water feature, which you can probably hear very relaxing in fact. And now let's step into your wine cellar, your climatized wine cellar. And now I think the space really sets the mood of this floor and of this house because not very often we see a wine cellar of this size, plenty of spaces for your wine. So if you're a wine lover, you are definitely going to appreciate this space. Now here would be a space where you would serve the wine. So we even have arc wine glasses and an arc wine. Would you like some? Later, no problem. We'll serve some wine later. And for now, let's check out this table. It's actually an olive tree. Dima, if you come from the side here, you can see that 
it's unrefined. So that would be your climatized wine cooler with glass doors and in a very spacious size. Now let's step further. Here is the so spoken chill out zone where you can probably put a TV and in case you wanna put on a movie whilst you're trying on some wine, that's a space. Now, another door, which I missed. To be honest, I don't remember what is behind this door. There's so many doors in here. All right, wow, how could I miss that? Let's step in here. That would be the beginning of your official spa. Let's step through to here, where we are gonna find a shower and the toilet and this generous size of a marble sink. Here is probably where you would change your clothes, put on your robes and head down to the spa. But we're gonna make a loop because we've got one more thing to discover because we, before we head to the spa, which is your official massage relaxation zone. Come home after work and wait to be massaged. That would be a nice thing to come home to. Wood paneling on the wall. Here we actually have a picture window, but for now it's closed, so you have some privacy whilst you're getting a massage, which is very nice. Here we have a small bench, and now I am left with two doors. Let's explore this zone first, which is your official gymnasium. Wooden paneling on the ceiling with this inbuilt recess light. Looks very modern and futuristic. Now here we have a zone where you already have water and your shake bottles ready. Arc, love the design. Black, white, stylish feature wall. Now that is your gymnasium and that brings us to the last part of the spa, which is your swimming pool, indoor area. First, before we explore this part, let's just quickly see the wellness zone. We have first a steam room, so basically your wet room, your wet space. All right, some white design. And the other, dry for a change, sauna with the oak paneling, with the oak wood. Let's just step in, because I want to show you guys these one pieces panels. But for now, I want to bring everybody into this indoor swimming pool. We've got a gorgeous cascade running down into the swimming pool. We're gonna turn it off with this Demotica system so that you can guys properly hear me because it is quite loud. So. One click of a button and this space becomes a sanctuary of peace and quiet. Let's step into the last part first of the swimming pool. 15 meters of indoor swimming pool. Floor to ceiling windows which open up into your outside garden, making the space connected with the outside and making you feel like you are just one with the nature. Here you have the first chilling area from where you could just dive right into your swimming pool or else head down into your spa bar where you can serve coffees, teas and anything else you wish in this marble top. Two sun beds, double sun beds, so you can enjoy the space with your partner. Don't have to be separated into two separated sun beds. And here we have come into the area of the jacuzzi. Press on the button for some bubbles. Okay, get nice and hot. And then for some health benefits, step into the plunge pool, which is something I'm a bit scared of. 
It's difficult if you do it, well done, I should get down to it. It's good and healthy, so the space just encourages you to be that way. And with all that said, we are going to end our tour here in this unique and enormous indoor spa. Once again, thanks to the Super Garage from Puerto Banos for letting us drive with the Lamborghini Urus into this property. And if you're interested in renting or buying a car, make sure to reach out to them and they will give you the best service. As always, we'll leave more information about this property down in the description below, so make sure to check it out. And let's thank Karen Yellen from Cleox Inversiones for making this tour possible. Once again, I hope you enjoyed the Villa White tour, and if you did, make sure to subscribe to our channel, give us a like if you want to see more tours made by us. Take care, guys, and good night.